All right, guys and girls, Crypto Kurt here with an update. And to be honest, this is not the kind of information that I like to uh, have to report on or share, but it is the reality of the crazy crypto cowboy land. And, you know, for those of us who are involved, we want to help you understand how dangerous it can be. And we want to spread the word. So the word's gone out. Uh, it happened uh, yesterday. Ether Delta DNS was hacked. Now, without getting into the technical details, basically what happened was someone somehow got a hold or got into the Ether Delta server. And just again, if you don't use Ether Delta, Ether Delta is a peer to peer trading platform. And there's only a couple of ways to access the platform, one of which is to go through my Ether wallet and use your private key to access the uh, exchange. You can also use uh, MetaMask, which is a plugin for uh, Chrome. And I think there might be one or two other ways, but those are the two popular ones. And scary enough for me, when I've used Ether Delta, I have gone directly from my, my Ether wallet account straight over to Ether Delta. And then you import that account over by using your private key. Any time you are using your private key, you are opening yourself up to have everything that you own stolen, or at least everything that's in that account stolen. So it's a potentially pretty dangerous way to trade, to be honest, to be putting your private key out there. Again, I've done it, and I've both bought and sold on that platform. And, you know, it is it, once you get your head around it, it's easy to use. But again, it's very dangerous. So anyway, long story short, it's been hacked. Do not go trade on Ether Delta. OK, once again, do not go log into Ether Delta. If you want to uh, hear a story about someone that got hacked, there's a YouTuber called Silver Tooth. If you're not familiar with Silver Tooth, he's an interesting, interesting bloke and go over there and check his account out. But he goes through the whole story. He actually thought he lost everything. Somehow somebody got in touch with him and taught him uh, a, a way that somehow that the, his ETH actually didn't get transferred out. But they were able by using his private key that they got access to from inside um, Ether Delta. They were actually to get in. They were able to get inside his My Ether Wallet account and transfer everything out. On top of that, we came out and told the story. A bunch of people sent in donations to that same hacked account, and the hackers went in and stole the donations. I mean, that's just dodgy as. But that is the crazy world of cryptocurrencies at the moment, guys. So I remember um, George Carlin had a great statement. He said, everywhere you leak, the world hangs a bucket. And it is so important that you're not leaking out your private information out onto the Internet or to friends or to anyone. And be particularly uh, safe when you're using your private keys. Okay, so enough on that topic. The next topic is CoinSpot, which is my favorite Australian exchange. But at the moment, check this out. We have temporarily disabled new AU deposits. Withdrawals and buy sell are not affected and will operate as normal. The temporary restriction on AUD deposits will remain in effect until at least the first week of the new year. AUD withdrawals, coin deposits, buy sell uh, orders and trading on the platform will continue to operate as normal. We assure you we are just as unhappy with the situation as you, but unfortunately, Australian banks have been so far unwilling to work with the digital currency industry, which leads to frequent account closures and strict limits on accounts whilst they remain operational. In effect, debanking our industry. As the demand for Bitcoin and other crypto assets skyrockets, it is in everyone's best interest to ensure we have regulated safe and stable digital currency service providers instead of push, pushing Australian consumers underground to potentially unsafe vendors. It is our purpose to drive safe adoption of crypto assets and we assure you that we will continue to work on establishing a relationship with a banking partner so we can resume accepting AUD deposits as soon as possible. Thank you to everyone for their overwhelming support during this time. And we are really excited by for what looks to be a massive year ahead for our industry. Now, you can also go check out Bo over at uh, Cryptocurrency Australia. He's done a quick video uh, today uh, with his thoughts on this. And he actually looks at some historic situations where banks have had issues with uh, cryptocurrency companies and have closed accounts on both individuals and companies. I'm not going to repeat everything he said. So again, go check out Cryptocurrency Australia. And Bo's done about a six and a half minute video with his thoughts on why this is happening. But the reality is, if you're uh, CoinSpot, if you're working with CoinSpot or using the CoinSpot exchange, you can no longer pull money directly out of your Australian bank account into your account. As usual, there are options. Now, if you go into CoinSpot and click on the markets, you'll see that they have active markets with BTC, uh, Litecoin, and Doge. 
Okay, these are the three coins which you can actually transfer into CoinSpot. They're the only three that give you addresses where you can actually send coins into uh, the CoinSpot exchange. So one of the workarounds is Coinbase. So if you have a Coinbase account, you simply go buy some Litecoin or the, uh, sorry, or a, Bit, a Bitcoin, so Bitcoin or Litecoin, and you simply purchase it on the Coinbase exchange, and then you send it back over to your CoinSpot exchange, okay? So if you're gonna do Litecoin, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Wallets, and that's gonna open up all your wallets, and you will actually see an address, okay? I'm not gonna go into my wallets, because with all this hacking around, I don't want people to know what my keys are, I'm sorry, what my addresses are at the moment. Even though theoretically nothing could happen, I'm just being ultra safe, especially by putting this stuff out on, uh, out on YouTube. So you go into wallets, and then you're going to see an address. So it's gonna be, you know, a set of letters and numbers, or you can do a, you can click show QR code and you can do a QR code if you want to do it that way. So again, the reality is you go to Coinbase, you totally circumvent uh, buying on CoinSpot, and you go take, oh, by the way, with Coinbase, you can do it two different ways. You can set up an Australian bank account. So if you don't have a Coinbase account, you can go into it from Australia. They will recognize your IP address and they will allow you to connect an Australian bank account. I will tell you guys, it will be much faster to get your account approved and to become trading more quickly if you just give them a credit card okay give them an australian credit card you'll get approved much more quickly now the other thing about coinspot they are getting slammed with people trying to sign up a uh, mate of mine signed up last thursday actually went through the whole you know um know your customer process and they have quite a rigorous process here with CoinSpot. You have to do all kinds of things, upload your license, upload a copy of utility bill. You have to get a picture of yourself holding, you know, a document that you've written a whole sentence on stating that you, you know, you're, you're using a special code they give you and you're only using the account for yourself, et cetera, et cetera. So again, they're being very diligent with, you know, uh, staying in accordance with the money laundering laws in Australia, but it is a royal pain in the butt. So if you don't have a CoinSpot account, you can still apply for a CoinSpot account, still go through the process, still do all of the verification process, but you won't be able to transport Australian dollars in. So once again, you just go to Coinbase. If you don't have a Coinbase account, set one up. You might actually get the Coinbase account set up faster than the CoinSpot account. Problem with Coinbase is that you can only buy these four coins. So really this video is about people who wanna buy the altcoins on, um, you know, you, well, they want to buy altcoins, right? And uh, you want to do it from Australia. Again, you know, you can go sign up with all the other, all the other um, uh, exchanges as well, but I'm just giving you this quick one because, again, Coinbase is easy and fast and safe. Well, pretty safe, anyway. Uh, if you didn't know, there was also a drama with Bitcoin Cash getting bid up to 8000 last night, and then they put a hold on it, and then they came back at 3500 when they reopened, and then they came out and said that we think that someone internally of, in our staff was uh, doing some dodgy trading, some insider trading. So again, you know, this is a bad day for cryptos with regards to news, with hacks, and, you know, just lots of dodgy stuff happening. You know, accounts being shut down, accounts being put on hold, et cetera, et cetera. And this is what happens in the unregulated world of cryptos. But you know what, guys? It's okay because I'm getting some unbelievable profits and really creating some wealth. So right now, we just have to deal with this shit, to be honest, and do what we need to do. All right, so once again, guys, the news of the day, Ether Delta got hacked. Please don't use Ether Delta. Uh, CoinSpot has uh, stopped uh, AU deposits, and I've just given you a workaround on how to fix that up. So once again, guys, today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's coming on the holidays. Please, everyone, have a wonderful holiday. Take care of each other. Be safe. And I hope this was helpful. Crypto Kurt out.